In this video, I will discuss about concurrent forces in linear mechanics. First, I will start with the definition of force. Force is defined something like this. It is an agency which change or tend to change the state of rest or motion of a body. It is a vector quantity. Vector quantity means it is having both magnitude and direction. The magnitude of the force is measured in newtons. That is the unit of force. Now, what is an external agency? External agency means, for example, if you take a toy car, this toy car is in rest. If I want to disturb its position from rest, then what we have to do is we have to just push it. I am pushing like this. Then automatically state is disturbed from rest. It starts moving. That is nothing but force. The effort which tends to change the state of the object is called force. Now, the car is toy car in motion. Now, I want to stop it. Putting my hand in the path of the toy car, it stops moving. I am keeping my hand to change the state of the car from motion to rest. That is again called as the force. In general, in general, in the real world scenario, that we will call as braking force. In the case of actual car, we will call it braking force to stop the vehicle from motion to rest. Okay. So, that is simple definition of force. That means it is an external agency which change or tend to change the state of rest or motion. You can change it from rest to motion or motion to rest. Both you can do by applying the force. What are equal forces? Equal forces, two forces are said to be equal forces when they are same in magnitude and direction. If you take two forces with same magnitude and direction like this, Fa and Fe are two forces with same magnitude, let us say phi Newton and phi Newton. Directions are also same acting in the upward direction. But their effect on an object will not be same until unless the point of application is same. The point of application is changing, then the effect is changing, even though they are equal forces. For that, you just observe this example. This is a block. I am applying this force Fa at this end. Then the block is tilted like this. Left side portion is up, right side portion is down. Okay. Now I will apply this same equal force. Fa and Fb both are equal. Phi Newton and acting upwards. This heavy force I will apply on this particular end. Then apply, then observe what is the effect of this heavy force. The block is tilted in the opposite direction. It is not tilting like the previous case. This is applying at this point. This FA is applying at this point. Even though point of application is changing, this effect is changing, but these two are said to be equal forces only because they are having same magnitude and same direction. Now, what are equivalent forces? Equivalent forces means two forces are said to be equivalent if they produce the same effect on the rigid body. These two are equivalent forces because this Fa is producing the effect of lifting the object in the upward direction. Now, I will apply Fb. FB is also doing the same thing, it is also just lifting. They are not tilting the object, their effect is same. That is why two forces are said to be equivalent if they produce the same effect. Here you have to underline the word same effect on the rigid body. Effect is same means equivalent forces. Even though effect is not same, their magnitude and direction is same means equal forces. Okay, that is the difference between equal and equivalent forces. Now, what is principle of transmissibility? Principle of transmissibility means if a force F is acting at an angle theta, means this is the line of action of force F. Let us say some theta equal to 60 degrees. That means along 60 degrees, this force F is acting on this particular rigid body. This is a rigid body. Rigid body means it won't deform, 
its shape and size remain same that is rigid body suppose f is acting here the effect of f on rigid body is something suppose this f is transferred to b along that line of action in that case also the effect is same if force is transferred to point c which is another point on the line of action if you take any number of points on this line of action the force the effect of force f on this rigid body will not change that is the meaning of principle of transversality okay now i am changing the position of f from a to b effect is same take another point on this line of action c effect is same so in this way you can transfer the force f along this line of action only this principle of transversality will not applicable for strength of materials there in strength of material we will consider the deformable bodies now observe what will happen if you take the deformable body principle of transversality is applicable only for rigid bodies should not be applicable for deformable bodies because if you take a prismatic bar like this if you apply two forces f1 and f2 at point a and point b the prismatic bar will elongate length is increasing cross section area is decreasing now we will change the positions of f1 and f2 this is the line of action now i can change the force along this line of action according to transversality so this force f1 i'll change and i'll keep that at point b f2 is also along the same line that's why f2 i'll keep at point a so i'll change the position then observe what will happen now i'm changing the positions then observe it is changing from tension to compression now length is decreasing cross section is increasing so it is changed like this entire scenario is changed if you consider the deformable body suppose it's not deforming it's not compressing or it's not elongating then it's not a problem that is the case of rigid body if you consider the deformable body it is changing suppose if you transfer this forces to point c then no effect both the forces are acting at the same point in the opposite directions no effect okay so that's why principle of transversality is applicable only for rigid bodies that means in engineering mechanics only we have to consider this don't apply this to strength of materials now what are the different types of system of forces system of forces are defined as like coplanar forces then concurrent forces parallel forces etc now first we will start with coplanar forces when number of forces are lying in the same plane they are called as coplanar forces if you observe this f1 f2 f3 these are in the vertical plane f4 f5 f6 they are on the horizontal plane that's why f1 f2 f3 are coplanar f4 f5 f6 are coplanar but f1 and f5 are not coplanar okay then concurrent forces when the line of action of several forces are passing through a common point then those forces are called as concurrent forces here four forces are there f1 f2 f3 f4 all these line of actions of all these four forces are passing through a common point called go that's why these are called as concurrent forces when line of actions are parallel even their magnitudes are different when line of actions are parallel they are called as parallel forces now general system of forces these are not belonging to either concurrent forces or parallel forces these are different forces whose line of actions will not meet at common point and they are not parallel to each other that kind of forces we call as general system of forces okay